Good morning. So uh, today um, I need to start um, doing the final sort of polishing for Snippet Pixie, um, particularly on the GUI, um, so that we can start getting to the point where we can package that up and uh, test it, or at least test in the packaging. So um, what have we got left to do? Mm, I've still got a few things on the setting screen I need to do. Um, and I'll probably should do some sort of about screen just for credits and licensing and stuff like that. Um, maybe. Um, and yeah, to also get to the help. Probably. Um, so that's the main things for the GUI. And then we'll start um, working on the uh, sort of packaging side of things um, with how to um, start and stop the daemon and things like that um, automatically. So where are we? Let's go here. So I need to bring up Actually, I should probably just do guide um, did a whole bunch of updates yesterday. So let's just make sure this is squeaky clean. Might take a little bit of time to do that. Or not. There we go, that's fine. Bring up the uh, daemon and then I was working on the CLI last time. Let's do this. Okay. Um, so on the settings at the moment, all we've got is import and export. Um, and we probably need to add a couple of bits and bobs. So let's move it across to the workspace. Make it a bunch smaller. Um, so get rid of this, this is all CLI stuff. I'm going to decide what we need. So I think the big one is um, how to the search box. So by default, um, when you bring up um, Snippet Pixie, it'll pop into the search box. Um, and some people might not want that when they're using the search and paste method. They might want um, to be in the list first. Um, so they can just hit a shortcut key. Um, so let's sort that out. I should probably demo that. Um, yeah, I can just do that here. Did a make, so I should be able to just run the build version as so if I do search and paste, that's the long form. You get that. Um so it's got the shortcuts um and it's got no buttons for add and settings. It's just a quick way of picking a snippet and then doing a paste. So some people might prefer that it's actually in the list automatically, so they can just hit the shortcut. Um, so that's the setting we want to do. So I could do that. 
Okay. Let's do that then. We can collapse that down. We're going to be in here. Actually, I could just let's quickly get to it. So there's a setting screen already there. Look. So at the moment, we've got settings title. And then if the connection is OK, we can do the import and export stuff. But we don't need um, to wrap this new setting in that at all. Um, but we do want um, some basic settings up here, I guess. So this is probably going to be a checkbox, which I don't think we've done at all yet on here. So this will be interesting to see what it looks like. So let's add a checkbox. Um, and what we're going to call it. Hmm. That's a good point. What's the... Uh, I think the existing one is just called focus. Focus search box. Okay. Uh, maybe I should have it as a part of a, instead of shortcut, I think probably search and paste mode or something have that and then I can maybe do these things um search selected text because we may if I can work it out we might get that back at the moment I'm not sure how we're going to do that but we'll see that'd be interesting to do yeah so let's have a search and paste subheading and the first thing we're going to do is focus search box I'm going to have it turned on by default um, so let's steal this. Um, and then under that, we have hmm, I might tighten up these paragraphs a bit because we're going to run out of space pretty quick. So I might reduce the margins and things on there, but we'll get to that in a sec. Um, so we're going to need probably what, a label. Um, and let's have some new text, which will be Settings dot focus search. Yeah, I think that's okay. Now we need to get the eye. Oops. Fix the thing there. Set it here. This won't show up straight away, but I 
I need a um, title in here as well. And let's have search and paste title. Now that might not work, we'll see. Because I've got an ampersand, an, uh, ampersand in there. I might need to encode that, we'll see. I'm not sure how this is going to interact. I'm hoping it's okay without having to be a HD million. Search and paste title. That's okay. Definitely need to muck about with the paragraphs on here. Let's just quickly tighten them up. Let's move that. Oh, actually, let's move that down. a little bit better. Let's see what happens when I do that. Right, okay. So we need, I think what we'll do just increase the bottom on the headers a little bit. Just give it a little bit of separation. And then each paragraph Hmm. Let's do this, actually. Let's just clean this out. Let's do... Let's do zero. don't want anything on the sides and then we want 0.2 rem and then here let's try the same okay that's a little bit tight so
maybe that. Maybe put a little bit on the top, actually, of them as well. Not getting any separation on the header. That's a bit better. I don't really want anything above, to, to be honest. I think I want things to update the bottom a little bit. That's probably okay. Uh, what I haven't done yet is put that in a paragraph. That's why it's not working as I expected. Okay, that's better. All right. Okay. Right, so um, checkboxes. Uh, I always forget about checkboxes and how you're supposed to structure them. Um, Let's let's do this. I need to bind this to something. I haven't got any um, stores or anything in here yet. In fact, I've not done any setting stuff thinking about it. So that is going to be a bit of a problem. Yeah, I've only done snippets. So we're going to have to create a new store for settings. Hmm. Now, do I? Do I do the same as I did for snippets? and create a custom store. Well, with so few settings, do I just do them individually and update them as, as I need? In fact, do I even need a store? I need to grab it on start, but yeah, I do need to update.
Yeah, I do need to do both. So maybe... Yeah, maybe I will do that. So let's try that. So I'll just update from here down and replace snippet setting. So we've got a create settings. Uh, and I guess we we'll want to change lowercase as well. So if we're going to fetch, if we don't have any connection, we just can't do it. Otherwise, we're um, going to get some settings. Uh, get all settings, which we probably haven't got yet. Um, and we'll update a settings store, which is what this is going to be, with the return settings. Uh, search is redundant, we don't need that. We're not doing any filtering. Reset's always quite nice to have. We'll keep that. So we're basically, we've got the usual um, subscribe. We've got set and update by default. Um, I've also just basically given us a fetch um, function on the store and a reset. Um, and I do that so that I can just call the function I need there instead of doing it automatic, uh, manually. And it checks to make sure that we've got a connection first. So that should be okay. Now I just need to see what we've got in the back end to do that. Didn't have got anything yet, no? All right, in the um, daemon, Let's see. Um, Dbus service hasn't got anything yet. We basically want to do this. I need to have a quick look at the uh hmm. Don't think we've even got the stuff here, have we? No, I haven't got any setting stuff. That's okay.
Okay. So I need for internal. We have just the three functions. Oh. I kept it down to individual. Hmm. That would make things simpler. Okay, so what I've done so far then is when managing settings, I just have wrappers for um, add, update, and get. Um, so these are the actual inserting into the database parts of things. And I've just got that as an internal package. Right, it's all part of the manager package. Um, and if you look at the settings test, yeah, we're just doing add and get. Okay. Um, They're always transactions as well. That's interesting. God, I did that. Just to make sure they're not getting mucked about with. Hmm. Do I want to do a get all? Probably not thinking about it. I need to know what I'm getting each time. This is the first time I've actually used the settings. So I'm actually defining them here as well. Hmm. Let me have a quick look. Okay. All right. So I don't actually have any settings, I think. Hmm. Let me 
you probably didn't see that, it was probably behind my head, so um, I was just looking at the table there. And the Escalite databases. Um, right, make a decision. I think probably best then. Well, we've got an update. Does it do an ad? Right, okay. I've not set it so that it does an upset. Because it expects a zero if you didn't get one in the first place. Okay. Hmm. Which is safest? I'm going to have to do a lot more here than I expected. I don't have the time, but okay, what we'll do then is So we need basically a get setting, don't we? Don't think we need to store. I don't think, yeah, I think we're over complicated things here. It's going to have to be an immediate access. So what we'll do is in the daemon
steal this as a template because it does an individual. And then down here, we will have a snippet. Oh, uh, it's key, isn't it? Setting key and setting value. It's going to return just a string. I don't need to do any of that. I can make it a lot simpler there, I think. Uh, Transaction-y stuff. Okay, let's steal some. In there. Okay, and then okay, let's do that as well. We just want to commit to the end. I guess.
doesn't really make a lot of sense. Hmm. Why did I say snippet there? Okay, so in theory that should work. Get that into the interface. So this is what we expect a function to use um, if it's going to manage the uh, setting, or rather get the setting. Um, so like a client. And I now need to update um, the other. Bus. Service, sorry. This is where we call. Oops. This is where we call it. So I get a value back from setting. I'm going to pass it the key. And we're going to store it in here. It's an empty string if we have an error. Otherwise, we return the value and nil.
So this is the client side library now. So we now have a function called get set in, which takes a key and should return a string um, and potentially an error. Um, and it basically just calls the, um, the dbus service um, and says uh, on the get set in endpoint, here's the key and uh, I'll take the value back, thanks. So that's how we call the daemon. And the daemon goes, um, thank you very much for the key, starts a transaction. Not sure why I do that, but I must have had a good reason. Um, I'll think about that, whether I need to take that out or not, because it seems a little bit excessive for the get. We could do a dirty read on that. Um, and then calls the database stuff, which at the moment is on the snippets. I might have to change that. It doesn't quite seem right. That's the manager. That's what we've called the manager. I might update that at some point. Um, and then uh, does the actual function call in the transaction, gets the value back, hopefully without an error, commits, hopefully without an error, um, and then returns the value and nil. Um, and anything that wants to implement this service Do so like that. Okay. Right. So now in app, let's see. Um, let's do that signature. I'm calling it on app. So this is in the GUI now. We're going to have a get set in function. Um, and it's basically going to go turn a server get set in pull the key, and that'll be it. So the serve is actually just an implementation of that service. We're calling the dbus stuff. There we go, bounced. So that's... Um, Wales recognize that the uh, ghost stuff's just changed. Oh, my little checkbox there. It's in the wrong place. I need to sort that out, but I've run out of time. So, but anyway, um, in here, uh, what I need to do now some to do's so to do um Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to bind the on change. Not 
sure that's quick. Depends on how they've implemented it. Um, I also Do that. space around that, thanks. Okay, so next time I need to actually start hooking these things up to those functions I just created. Rather get so far anyway. Um, and then I'll just duplicate that for update and and as well. Um which would be interesting. How do I determine if it's got a value or not. I'll have to store true and false and things like that as strings because it's string based settings. Yep. Okay, well, uh, I've got to quit now because I've got to start my day. Um, so that's going to be part one of settings. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care. Bye.